Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can create your own incredibly simple REST API using Go. Now as always, the full text version of this tutorial is available on my website and I'll be leaving a link to this tutorial in the description below. So REST is everywhere these days, from websites to enterprise applications. The RESTful architecture style is a powerful way of providing communication between separate software components. Now, if you wish to learn more about REST APIs, then I've got an article titled What are REST APIs? And again, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So coming into our favourite code editor of choice, we're going to get started and create a very simple server which can handle HTTP requests. Now, to get us started, we're going to create a file called main.go. Within this main.go file, we're going to want to create three distinct functions. A homepage function that will handle all requests to our root URL. A handle request function that will match the URL path hit with a function defined. And a main function which will act as the entry point to our simple REST server. So let's get started. Package main. Let's close this. And then we'll define our list of imports. So import fmt log and we're going to want to define net http. Fix that. Below this we're going to want to define our home page function. And this is going to take in our response writer and our request and within the body of this home page function we're going to want to do the following so fmt dot f print f w home page endpoint hit perfect and next we want to define our handle requests function so func handle requests and within this we're going to want to do http handle func and we're going to want to map the root path to our home page func and then finally within this we're going to want to do log.fatal http dot listen and serve and we're going to want to do this on port 8081 so I know that's free in my current machine. Finally, we want to define the entry point to our application. So func main and call handle requests. Perfect. Coming into our terminal, we can now try and run this simple application by calling go run and the name of our file main.go. And when we hit localhost port 8081 in our browser with a simple get request, you should see that it successfully returns homepage endpoint hit. Fantastic. So now that we've got a basic server up and running, let's extend this and create our first API endpoint that returns a JSON response of a list of articles that we have defined in memory. To get started, let's define an article structure or struct. So right at the top of your code, just below your imports, type article struct. And these are going to have the following. So title, which will be of type string. And JSON title. Next will be description of type string as well. And you'll find it in JSON as the script or just desk. Finally, we'll have content, which will also be of type string. And the JSON path for that will be content. Below this, we're going to want to define type articles, which will be an array of article. Now that we've set up our article structure, we can start mocking up some API endpoints that we can hit to retrieve some data. So the first one we're going to do is the all articles function. So func all articles and this is going to take in http.responsewriter and a request
within the body of this function, we're going to want to do the following. So fmt dot print line. If I can spell endpoint hit all articles endpoint and we want to do json dot new encoder w and we want to encode an articles array that we're going to define just at the top of this function so articles equals article and within this we want to do article give it a title test title give it a description of test description and give it some content so hello world Finally, what we need to do is import the encoding slash JSON library, and that should fix all of our issues. And finally, we want to register our function. So HTTP dot handle func. And whenever we hit articles, we want it to return with the function all articles, like so. Again, come into your command line and type run, go run, main.go. When we next go into our browser and we hit the articles path, you should see that it returns a JSON response with the article that we have just defined within that the body of that all articles function. So that's us created a really simple, really basic REST API that returns a series of articles based on a GET request made to a particular URL. Now, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can effectively refactor this and utilize a Gorilla Mux router and then start to explore different HTTP verbs such as the GET, PUT, POST, UPDATE and DELETE verbs and how you can effectively use them to perform different actions within your REST API. Now, hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more programming-based tutorials. Cheers.